Okay, so for our first coding project, we're going to go ahead and take this IU Kokomo library page and we're going to turn it into HTML5 and CSS3. Now we're going to take only this header area, so we're going to do this light gray area and we're going to do the navigation also. And we're also going to make it responsive, so it's going to look good on a phone and it's going to look good on a tablet as well as a desktop. So one thing that I encourage you to do before you start any coding at all is to go ahead and take a screenshot of your page or use the Photoshop document that you're working off of and just start drawing boxes around all of these different elements. So for instance, I have this header up here. What I want to do is I want to start off by drawing a box around this entire header area and I know now that that's going to become, well, it's going to become my HTML5 header tag or it could be another div. As I go through this page, I can look at the different elements in the header, such as the logo, draw a box around that, and I know that that's going to be a div. Come over here to this IU Kokomo text, and I know that that's going to be a div. Another one for the library. And as you can see, all I'm doing is I'm going through here, and I'm just drawing boxes around everything because it helps me visualize where I'm going to be putting these different divs. So now, that I've got all my boxes around this header area, I can see that this whole top area, I'm going to put that inside of a header tag. And inside of that header tag, I'm going to have this IU logo, IU Kokomo library text, and then these two nav navigational items over here on the right. So I have a total of five elements or divs that are going to be inside of that header tag. 